Last week, we showed you a conversation we had with Bawa Amos, who wrote a book about the history of the Zuru people, who, who are one of the ethnic groups in Nigeria. Remember, we discussed how we have hundreds of ethnic groups in Nigeria, and how studying or learning about the histories of all those ethnic groups can be very, very, can be a very fascinating experience. And Bawa's book, I recommended that on the show last week. We got a lot of feedback from quite a number of people who watched and enjoyed that particular episode. So we thought, let's show you a bit more. Now, trust me, this is a part that you didn't watch last week. Enjoy this. I am so excited by this. Now, you, 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 you now wrote here a lot of things. Where do we even start from? Well, let me just pick a few things now. I mean, because you covered so many areas, aspects of life. Yeah. But here, in, in, in the chapter where you, you wrote about birth and child care, yeah. let me read something here. So many interesting cultures. Okay. Um, a pregnant woman is required to relocate to her parents' house in the sixth month of her first pregnancy. That's right. That's right. Six mo sixth month of her first pregnancy. She must That's go right. to her parents' house. That's right. This is so that her mother can take care of her. That's true. Her mother-in-law prepares Benny seed. Is that what you call it? Yes, okay. Benny seed. Benny seed mixed with rice, which she takes to her to her in-laws compound yeah. in appreciation that a child is born to the family the pregnant woman is expected to eat it at intervals but there is no medical reason for this practice now physical and spiritual attempts are made to determine the sex of the baby you wrote yes common belief says that if the pregnancy bump faces downwards yeah the woman is likely to to born to bear a male child that's right if the pregnancy bump is not too big, the child is believed to be female. That's right. So these are beliefs, right? Yeah, they are beliefs, and it works for them. And it works. Yes, it works. And if you go for that, you discover that when a woman dreams, she's swimming. Yeah. She's swimming in a river. Yeah. So she's likely to bat a girl child. You wrote here that if a woman dreamt that she was being pursued by yes. a masquerade. She's a male child. She will likely bear a boy. Yes. Wow. Hmm. Then you wrote here that, um, mm, this is a, a sad one, really. Okay. You wrote here that there was a time when a, when a baby was born with a, mem with a membrane covering yeah. it, the people, out of ignorance, out usually, of ignorance yes. usually buried the child immediately. Yes. There was no, there, no enactment, nothing, no sign that this child is, uh, is, is alive. You understand? Yeah. So the best thing now is to just arrange and bury it. Out of ignorance. Wow. Their actions stemmed from ignorance because they did not know that the sac with the amniotic fluid needed to be cut open. Yeah. So the baby could breathe and cry. That is it. That was the problem. That is it. Hmm. Wow. So they, after, after years of damage, they got to know that. You wrote that children are usually named after their ancestral fathers or mothers. Yes, that is why we bear, we, our names are very common, just like you people, Ibukun and the rest of them. Yeah. So we have a traditional name. Uh, for instance, if you, if you take a child, a woman, to a deity, yeah. a common deity in Zululand called Girmache, yeah. if she gives birth, after prayers, incantations, and what have you, if she gives birth, if it's a male child, you mm -hmm. name that child Girmache. If it's a lady, a child, the baby girl is a girl, mm -hmm. you named her Dada. Dada? Yes. Meaning? Yet you're associating her with the deity. Oh. Yes. Otherwise, otherwise, if they are, if they are an old man, if, if there, anybody, if there's an elder in that house, that had passed on maybe some years back. Mm -hmm. So it is traditional that any newborn baby should be named after, like me now, I'm getting one of the names of my ancestors. 